Hello future engineers, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're still new to my channel and you like what I'm doing, please don't forget to share my videos to your friends and to your friends' friends. This is the only way you can help me promote my channel to keep me going, refreshed and inspired. Now, if you find my videos interesting and important to your studies, please don't forget to subscribe because this is the only YouTube channel where problems are very uh, many and most of them are arranged from simple to very challenging ones because I'm hoping that you will become better and competitive engineer in the future. Where the method of least work determine all support reactions and the moment that CEI is constant. This came out in the in one of the problems in the CE board exam and it was presented by the moment distribution method but I'll solve this by the method of least work just one item the moment at C so this is the given figure let's select the this is indeterminate to the third degree so we select the redundant forces at A, the reactions at A as shown. And let's put also the reactions at B. Then let's have the sectioning. First, second, third, and fourth. There are four sections. So partial of U with respect to the first redundant, which is A, it's equal to 0. And it is equal to the integral from 0 to 4 of AH times X plus MA derivative is X DX. Then in the next section, plus integral 0 to 4 of AH times 5 plus AV times X plus MA, the derivative is 5 DX. And for the next section, integral 0 to 1, AH times 5 plus AV times quantity 4 plus X plus MA minus 16 times X, derivative 5 DX. And lastly, in this section, integral from 0 to 5 of quantity AH times 5 minus X plus AV times 5 plus MA minus 16 times 1, derivative quantity 5 minus X DX. So evaluating the first integral here, it is 1 to 5 AH over 3 plus 12.5 MA. The second, 100 AH plus 40 AV plus 20 MA. The third, 25 AH plus 22.5 AV plus 5 MA minus 40. And the last integral, 125 over 3 AH plus 62.5 AV plus 12.5 MA minus 200. So combining like terms, setting up the first equation, and put the constant to the right. So 625 over 3 AH plus 125 AV plus 50 MA equals 240. Call that equation 1. Next, partial of U with respect to the next redundant force, which is AV, equals 0. So we copy the moment equations. We just replace the partial derivative of that moment equation with respect to the second redundant, which is this time AV. So for the first integral, this x dx here becomes 0 because there's no AV here. Then for the second integral, we copy this, then replace this by x dx, the partial derivative of AVx. Third integral, we copy and we replace this by 4 plus x dx. And lastly, we copy this integral and we replace this part by 5 dx. So the first integral is 0. The second is 48 plus 64 over 3 AV plus 8 MA. The third is 22.5 AH plus 600 
plus 61 over 3AV plus 4.5 MA minus 112 over 3. And the last integral, 62.5 BH plus 125 AV plus 25 MA minus 400. Combining like terms, setting up the second equation, 125 AVH plus 500 over 3 AV plus 37.5 MA equals 1312 over 3. Call that equation 2. Then lastly, partial of U with respect to M, moment at A, equals 0 equals copy. Replace this by x dx, partial derivative of MA with respect Partial derivative of u with respect to ma is 1 dx or simply dx. So replace all the right side by just dx. The right uh, partial derivative of u with respect to this moment equation. And third, copy the moment equation. Then replace this by x dx. And the last. Place this by simply dx rather. So we copy and replace by dx. So the value of the first is 12.5 eh plus 5 ma. The second 20 h plus 8 ev plus 4 ma. The third 5 eh plus 4.5 ev plus ma minus 8. And the last 12.5 EH plus 25 AV plus 5 MA minus 80. So combining like terms, setting up the third and final equation, 50 AH plus 37.5 AV plus 15 MA equals 88. So solving these three equations simultaneously gives us AH negative 1.280 kilonewtons, AV 2.981 kilonewtons, and moment at a 2.628 kilonewton meter. So finalizing, AH equals 1.28 kilonewtons rightward, AV is 2.981 kilonewtons upward, and MA is clockwise. So it is negative moment supposedly. Then, the H, 1.28 kilonewtons leftward. Uh, DV, by statics, solved it, 13.019 kilonewtons upward. Then MD, by statics also, it is 1.587 kilonewton meter counterclockwise. So for a moment at C, let's have the column here. So let's assume moment at C to be positive, counterclockwise. So these are the results in D. So summation moment about C equals 0. So moment C plus 1.587 equals 1.28 times 5. So moment at C is equal to 4.813 kN meter. And it is in that direction counterclockwise, positive, positive. So that's it for this problem.